So we've got two types of bags to test. Um, so this one I have redeployed again. I cut down uh, a little bit of that red thing and it's inside. I've used it already a little bit. Let's check how effective that is. So let's open up. I, um, I promise you I have not had a look yet. So uh, let's have a look, okay? So this is holding well. So I um, attached it with some, uh, would you believe it, masking tape. Uh, so it holds well and okay. Uh, no, there's nothing here. Okay, there is some old um, stuff from my previous um, hoovering, vacuuming, uh, but from the new one, it wasn't a lot, uh, but I can, yeah, there is a bit, quite a lot of here. I mean, a bit, a lot, not a lot, but a bit, and um, no sign there. So it's working really well. Uh, the other bag um, I can suggest is this one. This seems to be also a good one because we can get to the corner, and uh, this Ryobi is actually uh corner based thing so actually oh, but this is funny it only will go this way so not ideally um this way would be better but it's got the cutout on the wrong side i guess well at least we can give it a try i'm gonna do it next time i hope this will be uh useful for you uh links below and um, remember also to use a pool sock. I've made a video about this previously. Very useful thing. You can buy them cheaply on Amazon. Links below. Uh, quite useful. However, if you use a bag and it's fully sealed, this is probably redundant. But anyway, it, it doesn't cause any issues. It's very thin, so I would use it still just in case. Here you've got a close-up of uh, what it looks like. So as you can see, nothing fancy. Uh, anything goes. Uh, just take this bit, put it flatly there, attach the tape, uh, make sure that it's fairly decent, doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, as you can see even on the side here, it's not perfect, it's just more or less, and it's fine. Once you close it, everything works, uh, it sticks together, and we've got good filtering.